I'm Phil Twyford. I'm Labor's spokesperson on Auckland. I'm an Aucklander. I've lived here all my life. And if you're anything like me, you'll love the city, but know that it could be so much better. The new super city is a chance to deliver better local government for Auckland. To help us make the big decisions we need on transport and infrastructure. Now the super city is going to mean some big changes. And right now, we're fighting to make sure the new structures are democratic and give local communities a voice. But underneath this debate about our democracy is a fear that many Aucklanders have that our assets may be privatised and sold off. Assets like our ports, our water company, our transport system, our parks and our libraries. Assets that you and me, our parents and grandparents, have paid off over generations with our rates. So why are Aucklanders fearful that our precious community assets could be sold off under the super city? Well, there are some things that are just so important, we believe they should be held in public hands so that now and into the future, everyone can benefit from them. There's no shortage of this stuff, but actually how it's managed is critical to ensuring that everyone has access to it. There is nothing that's more essential to human life than water. But under the super city, all of the council water operations are going to be merged into one company. That would be a prize for the big international water corporations. An opinion survey on the North Shore this week showed that 89% of people are opposed to any privatisation of water. If there's one thing that Aucklanders want kept in public hands, it's this. There are some things that are just too important. It's just not right that some things like a library where kids can learn to read or parks where children can play should be run to make a profit. When they're publicly owned, everyone can benefit, not just those who can afford to pay. Sometimes the private sector can't deliver some of the things that make a city great. Take for example the Pacifica Festival. It couldn't survive without council support. The Civic Theatre behind me would have been bold years ago without support from the council. It's not so long ago that our airport was sold off and the politicians of the time made a serious attempt to privatise the ports of Auckland. And still today there are many in the Auckland business community who would like to see the ports sold off to the highest bidder. Now what makes this seem much more of a threat today is that the Minister of Local Government is Act Leader Rodney Hyde. It's Act policy to force councils to get rid of their commercial operations. That means privatisation. John Key's Cabinet just signed off a Cabinet paper by Rodney Hyde that sets out the case for councils to be scaled right back to certain core services like roads and rubbish and water. Well, what does that mean for our public transport system? What does it mean for cultural festivals like Polyfest and Pacifica? And what does it mean for our waterfront? Now, for years, Aucklanders have wanted to open up the port to the people to give public access to everybody, so that no longer do these red gates separate the people from the port. If we privatise the ports, that opportunity will be lost forever. What would it mean if we privatised our transport system? Well, you see, public transport's not exactly a money spinner. And we saw that from the botched privatisation of our railways. Labour had to buy them back, first the tracks and then Kiwi Rail. Public transport costs money, but we do it because it makes the city a better place to live. It cuts down on pollution and carbon emissions, and it gets Aucklanders out of our cars. And all Aucklanders understand the importance of that. Our public transport system must stay in public hands so we can invest and build a system that makes this city better in years to come. Because great cities have great public transport. Rodney Hyde's agenda is to force councils out of things like cultural events and film festivals like the one happening right here in the Civic that's sponsored by the local council. Hyde wants everyone to pay for the services that they use that local government provides on a private and individual basis. Well, Labour's philosophy is a whole different thing. We stand for a more traditional Kiwi way where we pay in our taxes and our rates for services that everybody can enjoy. So kids can go to a library and get a book out, play in a local park, and everybody can use the local amenities. <laughs> Rodney Hyde was asked if he was going to privatise the libraries, 
and he made a joke out of it and said no, his mother wouldn't allow him to do that. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not very reassured by that. Act's policy is clearly to privatise our local assets. That's why we've launched Not Yours to Sell, Labour's campaign to keep Auckland's community assets safe. If you want to keep our ports, our water company, our transport, our parks and our libraries safe in public hands for future generations, then join our campaign, Not Yours to Sell. And with your help, we can build a movement to keep Auckland's assets safe for future generations. You know, Auckland's a great city, and it could be even greater if we get the super city right. But that hope will be dead in the water if we allow Rodney Hyde and his mates to flog off Auckland's assets and leave the cupboard bare. If you care about our city, join our campaign and help keep Auckland's assets safe. Don't think so